Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet a striped sweater. You can make this pattern with or without stripes, and today I'll be making a size small. You can find the free written pattern from sizes extra small to 5 extra large on my blog. The link is down below in the description bar. You will need DK weight yarn. All of the yarn amounts for the different sizes are listed in the blog post. A 5.5mm crochet hook, a 6mm crochet hook, a darning needle, some scissors, and two stitch markers. We're going to start with your main colour and create a slip knot. Insert the 6mm crochet hook into the loop. The body panels in the sleeves are worked from the bottom up. We're going to start by crocheting the back panel ribbing. To begin, chain 12. Once you have 12 chains, we're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. To half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Half double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. At the end of row 1, you should have 11 stitches in total. Turn your work. We're going to start row 2 by chaining 1. Throughout this pattern, the turning chains of chain 1 don't count as a stitch. Otherwise, the chains count as a stitch. We're now going to work into the back loops of the stitch. So the back loop is the strand of yarn furthest away from you. Back loop half double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. When you have one stitch left in the row, place a normal half double crochet in the last stitch. You should have 11 stitches in total. Turn your work. We're now going to repeat row 2 until the end of row 47. Once you have 47 rows, this is what your ribbing will look like. Take out the 6mm crochet hook and replace it with the 5.5mm crochet hook. We're now going to crochet along the long edge of the ribbing. To start row 1 of the back panel, chain 1. Place one single crochet in each of the first three rows. We're now going to chain 1, and then single crochet into the next row. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, single crochet into the next row until you have 2 rows left. Place 1 single crochet in each of the last 2 rows. You should have 89 stitches in total. Turn your work. The majority of this sweater is worked in the linen stitch, which is a two row repeat. The rows will be referred to as linen A and linen B. So for row 2, we're going to crochet a linen A row. To begin, chain 1. Single crochet in the first two stitches. We're going to chain 1, skip 1 stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. And here you can see that the next stitch is the chain space. Repeat chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the next stitch until the last stitch of the row. Single crochet in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 89 stitches in total. Turn your work. We're going to start row 3 and we're going to refer to this row as linen B. To begin, chain 1, single crochet in the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the next stitch until the end of the row. You should have 89 stitches in total. Turn your work. And now we're just going to alternate between rows linen A and linen B. If you want a solid coloured sweater, 
Repeat rows linen A and linen B until the end of row 100. If you want to crochet a striped sweater like the one in the photos, repeat rows linen A and linen B until the end of row 6. And this is what the back panel will look like after 6 linen stitch rows. We're now going to change to the contrast colour. You can change your colours using any method you prefer. I like to leave a long tail of yarn that's longer than the width of my sweater and crochet directly over it. So to start row 7, I'm going to place my contrast colour over my hook and pull through a loop. Pull on the tail of the main colour to hold the yarn in place. I'm placing the tail of yarn of the contrast colour in front of my stitches while holding the tail of yarn of the main colour behind my stitches. And then for row 7, we're just going to repeat a linen B row. So chain 1, single crochet in the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet in the next stitch until the end of the row. And you can see that I'm crocheting directly over both tails of yarn. When you're at the end of row 7, single crochet in the last stitch. To change back to the main colour, Cut the strand of yarn connecting the contrasting colour to the ball of yarn. Simply pull through a loop with the main colour. You can pull on the tails of the contrasting colour to hold the main colour in place. Turn your work. From row 8, we'll continue to alternate between linen A and linen B. To continue the stripe pattern, crochet 7 rows in the main colour and then 1 row in the contrasting colour. Repeat 7 rows in the main colour, followed by 1 row in the contrasting colour until the end of row 71. From the end of row 71, we'll continue to repeat linen A and linen B, but we'll only use the main colour until the end of row 100. At the end of row 100, fasten off, and this is what your back panel will look like. For the front panel, we're going to repeat the back panel instructions until the end of row 90. We're now going to crochet the shoulder shaping. So counting from your crochet hook, skip 36 stitches and then place your stitch marker in the next stitch. Your stitch marker should be in a chain space, not in a single crochet. To start row 1 of the shoulder shaping, chain 1. Repeat the pattern of single crochet, chain 1, skip 1 stitch until you're 2 stitches from the stitch marker. We have two stitches left until the stitch marker and we're going to single crochet two together. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. You should have 35 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row two, we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the first stitch and then single crochet into the chain space. You can place a stitch marker in the first stitch to make it easy to spot the beginning and end of the row. Now we're going to repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the next stitch until the last stitch of the row. Single crochet in the last stitch of the row. At the end of row 2, you should have 34 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 3, chain 1. Repeat the pattern of single crochet in the first stitch, chain 1, skip 1 stitch until there are 2 stitches left in the row. Single crochet 2 together. You should have 33 stitches in total. Turn your work. And we're just going to repeat rows 2 and 3 until the end of row 6. At the end of row 6, you should have 30 stitches in total. To start row 7, chain 1, single crochet in the first stitch. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the next stitch until the last stitch of the row. Single crochet in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 30 stitches in total. Turn your work. 
Repeat row 7 until the end of row 10. At the end of row 10, fasten off. We're now going to crochet the second side of the shoulder shaping. Counting from the stitch marker, skip 16 stitches and then insert your crochet hook into the next stitch. Your hook should be placed inside a single crochet. Secure your yarn and pull up a loop. To start row 1, chain 1, single crochet 2 together. And if you need to, place a stitch marker in the first stitch to make it easy to spot. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the next stitch until the end of the row. You should have 35 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, single crochet in the first 2 stitches. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the chain space until the last chain space of the row. Don't crochet into the last stitch of the row. You should have 34 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat rows 1 and 2 until the end of row 6. At the end of row 6, you should have 30 stitches in total. To start row 7, chain 1, single crochet in the first 2 stitches. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet in the next stitch until the end of the row. You'll have 30 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat row 7 until the end of row 10. Fast enough, you've finished your front panel. We're now going to crochet the sleeves. So to begin, create a slip knot and insert the 5.5mm crochet hook into the loop. We're going to start with the cuff ribbing, chain 12. Half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And half double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. You'll have 11 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, we're going to chain 1, back loop half double crochet across, half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the end of row 21. At the end of row 21, rotate your work and we're now going to crochet along the long edge of the ribbing. To start row 1, chain 1, single crochet into the first row. Repeat the pattern of chain 1, single crochet into the next row until the end of the ribbing. In total you should have 41 stitches. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, single crochet in the first stitch. We're going to repeat the pattern of chain 1, single crochet into the next stitch 7 times. You'll have 15 stitches in total. We're now going to repeat chain 1, skip 1 stitch, single crochet into the next stitch until you have 7 stitches left in the row. When you have 7 stitches left in the row, 
Chain 1, single crochet into the next stitch until the end of the row. You should have 55 stitches in total. Turn your work. And now we're just going to repeat rows linen A and linen B until your sleeve measures 38 centimeters or 15 inches long. To crochet stripes to match the sample sweater, change to the contrasting color for row 7. Then repeat 7 rows in the main color for every 1 row in the contrasting color until your sleeve measures 38 centimeters or 15 inches long. I crocheted until the end of row 61. Fasten off. Fold your sleeve in half and whip stitch the long edge of the sleeve together. Repeat the steps for the second sleeve. We're now going to assemble the sweater, so place the front panel on top of the back panel. Whip stitch the shoulder seams together. Whip stitch up the sides of the sweater, leaving a gap for the sleeve. Once you've sewn the sides of the body together, whip stitch the sleeve to the body. We're now going to crochet the neckline ribbing. With the main colour, create a slip knot and insert your 5.5mm crochet hook into the loop. Chain 7. Half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Half double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. You'll have 6 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1. Back loop half double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until your neckline ribbing is about 1 to 2 cm or half to 1 inch smaller than the neck hole opening. Mine measures approximately 43 cm long. Fasten off. Pin the ribbing to your sweater and then whip stitch it into place. Sew the edges of the ribbing together. Weave in all of your ends. And you've finished your striped crochet sweater. 